If you would like to see me do a review and tutorial and swatches on the Violet Bat by Lavash. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Brittany and my channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Today's video, as I'm sure you got it from the title and the thumbnail, like always, <laughs> is going to be a review and tutorial and so some swatches of the Violet Voss My Holy Grail, hashtag My Holy Grail, Pro Palette. This palette was included in the December or winter, I'm not sure if they're calling it a monthly thing or like a seasonal thing like FabFitFun, but it was in the Boxy Lux box that if you have not seen my unboxing, I will put it up there. Uh, I opened it up and this palette was in there and I was just like over the moon for it. Like look at that packaging, you see that holograph or holographic, no, rainbow freaking shift. I was here for it and I was really excited because I've been wanting to try Violet Voss for a while and I never had so to get it in the boxy luxe was very exciting for me and I posted down below if you guys would want to see a standalone video and you guys said yes and uh, I wanted to do it anyway so that's what this video is going to be I'm gonna do a look I'm gonna do you know arms watches just to show you what the shades look like on my skin tone for any shades I don't use and then let you know what I think of the formula and all that jazz right yeah the usual the usual way I do palette videos. But if you've never been here, you wouldn't know, so that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free. Join the Brat Pack, become part of this little group. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway on whatever's hot, and you'll have to be subscribed, so you should just do it. It's free. It literally takes no time from you. It does nothing except for help me. And don't you want to help little old me? Little old me. No? No? Okay. And of course, leave me a comment down below. Say hello, introduce yourself. My name is Brittany, and yours is... And I think we should just go ahead and get into this video. Do you want to do that? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Now. If you would like to see me do a review, tutorial, and some swatches of the Violet Boss, hashtag my holy grail pro eyeshadow palette, just keep on watching. Okay, let's go ahead and bust on into it. Are you ready to see what the inside looks like? I don't think you are. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. That's a pretty palette. I mean, like, that's very, like, warm, but also rosy, and also just so pretty. And I've, I've already used it. This isn't a first impressions. I've used it a couple times. I used it every day since I got it, actually, which has been about a week. And I hope you didn't hear that burp. And yeah, now I want to use it with you guys. That's why it's not like totally clean because I've used it a bit. So here's a close up of the palette just so you can kind of see for yourself what the shades look like. Very pretty, very nice. I'm into it. So I think I'm going to put on some little shadow shields because I think I want to do like a winged out look today. So let's go ahead and do that. Do those look even? I can literally never tell. So let's hope for the best. Okay, I think I should bring you in a little closer and we should just get into this look. Let's go. That is pretty close. This, sh this should be sufficient. Permit Mocha with my name spelled wrong because Starbucks and Christmas. Alright, I'm going to start with the transition shade named uh, Transition. This shade is like barely darker than my skin. I um, am a little tan today, but blends out real easy. Next, I'm going to take Are You Kidding Me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing, just deepening it up a bit. Something worth noting with these shadows is they're a stiffer formula. So as you can see, there's really hardly any kick up on the pan. Which, I mean, I don't really mind fallout if it blends, but I prefer this type of formula. It reminds me kind of like Makeup Geek shadows, how they're stiff but pigmented. I like that formula. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Wine and Dine. Also, please ignore my nails. I know. I have literally been sick for two weeks. I haven't been to the gym in two weeks. I have had a massive cough. I was sent home early from work. Like, my life has been falling apart, and uh, sorry I haven't had time to do my nails. I can't even sleep, so <laughs> sorry. This 
This is sort of giving me like modern renaissance vibes. It's like if they took modern renaissance and soft glam from Anastasia and they put them both in a palette. It's kind of the vibes I get from this, only, you know, more shadows and a, a stiffer formula since um, renaissance is a little bit powdery. Beautiful, but you know, these are just a little bit stiffer. Um, I'm now going to take the shade hashtag, which the brush is in the way of, and I'm going to blend out right on the edges of uh, Wine and Dine. I will say hashtag is a little more powdery than the others, but it's still not like powdery. It's just more powdery. So there we are there. I really like the way those two colors blended out together. On camera, it looks a little patchy here, but I'm looking at it in person and I don't see it. So I'm not really sure what that is. In person, the blend looks pretty seamless. Um, I would like to point out that no matter what palette it is, I always end up with like a pink magenta eye and I don't understand what that is because if I'm being totally real with you, I can't remember the last time I wore a pink magenta eye out of the house, but here we are. I'm going to take the shade Teddy Bear to deepen because it's got kind of a reddish tone to it, so I think it'll pair well with the pink magenta look we got going on. Why am I holding it like this? Don't know. I'm just going to... Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Now for a lid shade. I wish I could ask you guys what you'd want to see. Hmm. So many options. Wait a minute. My mind is going through these two, either toffee or cool beans. I think toffee, just simply because I think it's gonna pair well with like the orange in the crease and stuff. Yeah, let's do toffee. These are beautiful, right? Are you serious? Look at that. So pretty. I just realized that this is pretty much a more tame version of a look that I actually uploaded on my Instagram a couple days ago. Uh, my Instagram is Bratterstein. That's where I post all my makeup photos. I had it up here on a board so that you guys could see it, but my cats ripped all the teas out of it. Like, pff, little dicks. Anyway, um, on my Instagram, I did basically this exact look, but way, way more intense and dramatic with like a smudged out crazy lip. But if you want to see like a similar look, go ahead and check on my Instagram because I use pretty much these exact colors. I'm pretty, I'm making a wearable version of that, I'm realizing as we're getting into this. But you know what? It was a pretty look and I liked it a lot. So let's keep going. All right, let's pop on some toffee. Are you ready? Look at that. Now I'm going to take a flat brush to get into the inner corner. Like it's, I'm doing like a pat and swipe, not just like a swipe, like a pat swipe. Now I'm sharpening the edge, just like that. Now I'm going to take a smidgen of on fleek here and just marry the matte maroon with the gold there because I don't like the starkness there and I feel like it'll look better going to, into a shimmer that's closer to the maroon shade, so I'm just going to pat that in the center of those two shades to kind of make that transition a little less bleh. Just like that. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, so let me quickly throw on, I think I'm going to do a wing and a little mascara, and I will be right back for us to do the lower lash line and some swatches. <sighs> I just realized that I finished the lower lash line completely not recording. I don't feel like this has happened to me in a really long time. I'm pretty good at checking that, so I'm a little irritated. And I guess I'll just tell you what I did since I did it by myself. I don't even remember everything I said. Damn! Okay, so I started with Are You Kitting Me? And I low, blew it out real low under the lash line. I then went in with Hashtag, went a little higher, hit Wine and Dine like three-fourths of the way, and then Teddy Bear just on the edges to deepen it up. I then took Ploof here, and that's that really pretty inner corner highlight. Man, that's really irritating. I just sat here and talked to myself like a crazy person for fucking a long time. A long time! But anyways, now that the eyeshadow portion is on, I'm going to send you over to look at the swatches, and then I'm going to come back with a lip on, lower lash mascara, and we'll talk about my final thoughts. So, let's send you on to the swatches. 
All right, guys, this is the palette here, and we're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches. For the first row, we have Crystal. We have Pluth. We have Thanks a Latte. And we have Transition. Last in the first row, we also have Hashtag. Second row, we have Awesome Sauce. Bestie. Toffee. Chill. And How You Doing. Third row, uh, let's go on this side because I'm out of room. Tattoos and all. Bat My Eyes. Cool beans. That's pretty. Are you kidding me? So jelly. And on fleek. Last row we have brownie points. Teddy bear. Glamping. Cranberry splash. And wine and dine. So those are all the swatches on this palette. I think it swatches fine. I think the shadows are a little stiff, so of course they don't swatch as good as like a super powdery shadow would, but they perform good on the eye, so who cares? All right, guys, so that was all the swatches there on the Violet Voss hashtag my holy grail pro eyeshadow palette. Um, and this is also the completed look. I finished off with this lipstick from BH Cosmetics, which is the Rosy Ray. I love this shade, still loving the shade. I know I haven't talked about it since doing that full face of BH Cosmetics video, which I'll link up there, but love this lipstick, still one of my favorite pinks ever. And I feel like it pairs well with these uh, cool little eyeballs we got going on here. So what do I think of this palette? I love this palette, actually. I feel like this is a really good everyday palette for me, because honestly, for work, I've been going transition, bestie, freaking are you kidding me, brownie points, teddy bear. With a little bit of thanks a latte on the lid and that's been like my everyday look like it's just like the quickest neutral everyday look and then if I wanted to play with some colors these are usually the ones I go with so there you go and this palette has been making me play with shimmers a little bit more which traditionally I haven't been that much of a fan of but I like these shimmers I feel like they go on really well they're real smooth um, they're not overly offensive uh, they don't look too textured I've been I've been vibing with it I did like a really cute little simple look and then topped um awesome sauce on the lid and it was just real neutral and it just gave it a little little something something and i was very much into it so i like the palette the formula is a stiffer formula so the swatches might not be the best because it's like harder packed in the pan but you don't get as much kick up and they perform well on the eyes as far as pigment goes i mean look at them look at them very pigmented blends out like nothing it reminds me very much of the makeup geek formula which i love that's my life palette is creme brulee and peach smoothie and all that for makeup geek so i think this is good i'm so happy to have it man i was really really happy to get this in the boxy charm when i saw it i was like fuck yes i can finally try it and you know what it makes me want to try more of her shadows because all the ones i've tried i have liked so a plus 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 on this palette yeah all right guys so that completes this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video with swatches and a review and a tutorial on eyeshadow palettes also give it a thumbs up if you love violet boss and if you have any other palettes that you like by them let me know which one i should try next because i like the formula and i would like to try more palettes but i want to just go by recommendation because it's not always the same from palette to palette you know you know or just tell me your favorite eyeshadow palette in general and if i haven't tried it maybe i will Please make sure to subscribe and join the Brat Pack. I would love to have you here and I'd love for you to hang out with me in my room with my cats and my dog. They're all over there. You can't see them but because they're sleeping and I don't want to disturb them because they're sweet baby angels. But they're here and sometimes you see them. <clears throat> all right. Thank you for hanging out with me so much. I appreciate it because I know you could be anywhere else on YouTube in the world. And if you are still watching videos and you want to watch mine, here's a couple that I put up here these are videos i put up in the past and if you click on my face here it'll take you to reason to subscribe so we can hang out all the time i think you should do it i think it's a good idea thank you so much and i will see you next time bye